Hi, it's the end of the first day at Electronics 2014 and I've been run off my feet on the stand behind me here all day and even the cardboard cutout is tired um, and everyone's uh, busy over at the uh, uh, party, the after party over there, but uh, I thought I'd take you around while there's nobody here, so there's literally nobody left on the um, uh, the stands here. So let's go around, could take a while, but uh, I'll walk you through the whole thing. Let's go. Here we go. That's my stand, of course. Yes, I'm just uh, doing some MakerBot uh, stuff and uh, and uh, some Tagano microscope stuff, showing off the microcurrent, things like that, selling t-shirts, all sorts of things. So we've got uh, industry update. They're just a, uh, I guess, Australia's largest circulating manufacturing magazine. There you go. For those into manufacturing, not really computers. And of course, silicon chip. Uh, yes, Leo is here. I hope to get a a uh, talk to Leo tomorrow, but they're uh, still a world-class magazine, probably the best electronics magazine in the world, and uh, they do tons of do-it-yourself projects. Um, they've got a new valve amplifier or something like that. Um, so they do lots of uh, tons of cool stuff, and they're still going very strong. So good on uh, Leo and uh, the crew at uh, Silicon Chip. And well, these stands, they've just got, you know, some pamphlets and stuff. Our deck there, uh, you know, simulation and all that uh, sort of jazz for FPGA and ASIC Intercad. Uh, haven't heard of Intercad, but does, they do solid work stuff, so they've just, you know, showing off their software. Nothing fancy at all. Uh, Pico Kit, laser cutters, uh, solder tools, robotic education. So I don't know, have they got anything in the box? I don't think so. What are they doing? I'm not sure. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, precision electronic technologies uh, don't know probably assembly something like that so let's go along here we've got Altronics um, and Altronics do a 3d printer there it is I'm not sure what uh, model that is I'm sure somebody could uh, tell me so there you go somebody uh, came to my stand and said it wasn't uh, it wasn't very good so apparently I don't know um, don't even know how much that one uh, sells for but uh if you know let me know they've got their new catalog out they're showing off all their parts of course um Altronics is where i get the box for my microcurrent made here in australia um i think we missed a couple of stands oh, i can probably come back to them aerospace and defense products and uh vicom they do uh um there we go audio precision stuff high-end audio porn there you go that's the 525 audio analyzer but I used to have an audio precision that was worth about uh, uh, four thirty forty thousand dollars something like that used to have one in the EEV blog lab but I sold that and uh, yeah yeah I don't think they make it anymore it might have been discontinued but uh, anyway um, OKW uh, Australia and New Zealand they got nice little soft turtles Sagan would like one of those little soft turtles I'm sure it's all about the giveaways I reckon I've got the best giveaways with the uh, new micro ruler but they do uh, uh, cases of course uh, Rolex and OKW brand cases and then of course uh, we've got lots of case manufacturers here are uh, earn tech and they've got uh, a whole bunch of uh, very nice looking uh, they do you know I'm sure they do uh, silk screening and customize customization and all that sort of stuff in fact we saw some of those uh, last time they got some Lots of motors and uh, some very nice looking, uh, nice looking cases here. So, not bad at all. Really like those. Might have to pick up a few, uh, few samples. So here we go. I'll go back down here, lest I uh, miss the IL Control Devices Australia. They've got uh, joysticks and uh, lots of funky stuff like that. Oh, lots of you know, launch your missiles. Go for it. Like, you know, they've got like nice setups here with uh, all your buttons. You can go and uh, touch and feel. And there we go. Yeah, some really decent uh, joysticks in there. I'm sure they cost a, you know, probably force feedback and all sorts of things. They probably cost a, probably cost a fortune, you know, for uh, simulators and, uh, you know, like, like real high-end um, stuff, you know, not, uh, not, not gaming type stuff. So, yeah, there we go. There, yeah, there's some serious joysticks. Yep. You know, probably for military uh, type simulation and stuff like that. Ampec Technologies, they're doing, what is that thing? It's a press, self-clinching fasteners. Okay, so it does, yeah, it's, a, it's a, for fasteners. 
Yep, it's a fastening tool. So there you go, maybe they can uh, fire that up. They do have their own uh, 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 source down there, so they can uh, demonstrate that on the stand because these stands just uh, pop up in the middle here. They don't have any, uh, you know, um, shop air or anything like that. You have to supply, supply your own compressors and that sort of jazz. And then we've got screen process circuits over here. We're back to the EEV blog stand there. And uh, screen process uh, circuits, they do tons of PCBs and stuff. Really quite high-end ones, and lots of uh, silk screening and uh, things like that. And, you know, control panels, all those customised types of stuff. And they have balloons. I don't have balloons. It's disappointing. Anyway, by the way, if you haven't seen the new... Oh, no, it's gone. No, they've taken all my micro rulers. All right, I'll have to show you later. But anyway, I, I have the best swag. And uh, onboard solutions. Looks like, hey, that's uh, that's nice, nice arm. I really like that. What's that sucker doing? Hmm, that looks really quite neat. So it's uh, some sort of vision arm, is it? Not sure. Anyway, solder. All that sort of stuff, solder paste, all that jazz. Performance, they do wire bonding, epoxy, all that sort of jazz. Uh, Karatek, uh, power supplies, yes. Um, they came to my stand. Uh, these are uh, designed and made in Australia. There we go, Australian made, check it out. I had never heard of them, which is, you know, interesting. That's a good thing about these trade shows. You find companies that, you know, you didn't know existed and they do these nice little brick DC to DC converters and they're all, all uh, uh, designed and manufactured here in Australia very nice so they're all ruggedized rugged power you can rely on and they've just got minties I've got lollies and uh, yeah great to see an Australian uh, and you know they've got custom military uh, stuff I'm sure that's a big part of their business doing custom power supplies and things like that so and then we've got some, uh, oh yeah, Thermaltronics. We saw those uh, last time. That's from RMS Parts. These are um, a lesser known uh, brand, but still okay. I am led to believe Thermaltronics. So you can actually get these cheaper than, you know, a lot of the name brand uh, systems. And they've got similar thermal capacity to the uh, JBCs and, uh, and others, I believe. We've got some lead strips and parts like that. Lead, lead lighting stuff. Everyone's into lead lighting these days. And Redback Test Services. What do they do? They've got some National Instruments stuff. Um, some, right, they do uh, testing jigs. Okay, so these are custom. Yeah, can't lift that one up. I don't know. Yeah, it probably all comes up. But custom uh, test jig solutions. They Looks like they design and manufacture. Yeah, it's exactly what they do. Design and manufacture uh, customised test systems for your products. You know, a little bed of nails and... Uh, things like that all the pogo pogo pins down there they're all your different types of uh, different types of pogo pins for all your solutions don't want to press on the sharp one that could be uh, rather nasty but uh, yeah it's um, very handy if you need to uh, design and produce your own because like actually making your own one of these I've designed tons of designed and built uh, a lot of automated uh, test gear and manual test gear with better nails and uh, stuff like this and it can actually be quite tricky especially to get one really nicely engineered like this I mean this thing is just that thing is beautiful you know but they'll charge you a fortune for uh, actually designing and manufacturing that but if you're serious then uh, there are companies that specialize in these things uh, photo uh, etch industries there we go as their name says they do etching of uh, there you go, little uh, heat sinks and shields and uh, jazz like that. And all, yeah, lots of little custom parts. They're really quite nice. Best in show 2014. <laughs> Didn't know there was a best in show. Flexible printed circuit material, all sorts of jazz. That, interesting. And, ah, yeah, what's new in electronics? They've been going like, I don't know, 30 years or something like that. I don't really read it anymore, I've got to admit. Um, I'm sure they'd be disappointed to say that, but uh, it's not like, you know, silicon, it's not as interesting to me, the trade uh, journals anymore. But uh, Powerbox and M. Rutty Co., yep, so they're uh, doing a whole ton of motors. 
look at those. DC motor with planetary gearbox and all that sort of jazz. Terrific. Permanent magnet DC motors and uh, power supplies. So power supply modules, but they just uh, import those. They're not uh, designed and manufactured like the other ones. Read industrial graphics. And yeah, they do um, all your custom uh, button front panels and all the uh, tactile dome switch panels and things like that. Once again, very handy. See, if you come to a show like this, you can uh, pretty much find a company to do uh, everything you need. You know, design and uh, design, manufacture, test. We've got on-track technologies. Looks like that's a selective uh, soldering. Uh, that's a uh, automated uh, soldering machine. So there you go, you've got a custom jig here which holds your board in place and then of course it's automated like a, uh, like a surface mount uh, pick and place machine but uh, you've got the, um, yeah, the solder just dispenses through there and you've got a soldering iron which uh, comes down. I've showed those in operation in the previous one, uh, previous videos of these shows. Oh, they got everything covered up. And the uh, Tektronics, there you go, Tektronics are here. And they've got all their gear covered up, but we'll have a peek under here. Ta-da! So they've got their MDO, of course, you know, and all their demo boards. Yep. There we go. Yep, MDO coming out their backside, their MSO scope. And also they've got their TBS. The TBS is uh, silly, of course. Can I help you? <laughs> Sorry? Can I help you? Uh, now I'm doing a video blog. That's what I do. I'm there going around getting video. Okay. So, yep, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they've got, oh, there we go, digital signal analyzer. That's very serious business. And uh, that's a, an even more serious uh, demo board. Check that out. 1.6 gig bit maximum, 8 gig bit. So yeah, some really serious uh, stuff coming out of their test board. And there you go. It's peak under there. Real-time signal analyzer to 26 and a half gig. If you have to ask the price, you can't afford it from Tektronics. <laughs> well, they do make nice stuff. So, Embedded Logic Solutions, they've got an um, LPKF. Uh, yep, board printer, there you go. There it is, they've been uh, routing out some boards there. These are good machines, My, you know, if you're going to get a board, if you're going to actually buy, invest in a board uh, routing machine, get an LPKF, they're pretty, you know, basically the industry leaders, the benchmark. And by the way, if you're wondering what the after party's like, here you go, here's the after party. Everyone uh, happily drinking, drinking all the free grog. There's V, she's one of the organizers. Smile V, there she is. And uh, yep, everyone's, they're still hanging around. So these are all the exhibitors, uh, plus uh, people from the trade show. Smile V. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. <laughs> and so that's the after party that uh, everyone stays back for. It's getting a bit rowdy now. I think people are starting to, starting to uh, drink a bit more. But we've got Scientific Devices Australia and they do, uh, uh, yeah, they've got Keithley gear coming out their wazoo. There we go. So they're obviously distributors for Keithley and Stanford and they do a bunch of uh, custom. Oh, no, they're just distributors for... Uh, other stuff we looked at those last time actually. Mechtronics, yes, they do uh, soldering. So yeah, we've got super lube. You've got to have your super lube. Absolutely, always have a tube of lube. There you go, there's a quote. Always have a tube of lube ready for electronics. And yeah, lots of cutters, things like that. So, and oh, hey, here we go. Here's uh, Mbox, yeah, we've been to them. But here's uh, Keysight and uh, Trio. They're not called Trio Smart Cal anymore, they're Trio Test and Measurement. Charles, who you've uh, seen on the blog a few times. And uh, yeah, we've got this uh, night, one of the nice analog, um, sorry, one of the nice Agilent uh, handheld uh, scopes. They're really nice. The Field Fox, that's an awesome uh, portable spectrum analyzer. And the huge Infinium S series. Look at that. Oh, MSO S804, 10 bit ADC. 10-bit ADC folks, let's zoom in on that because that's worthwhile. Look at that, there's the money shot. 8 gig, 10-bit ADC, 20 gig sample per second. 
Whoa, that's serious business. And there are, that's not, oh, it's almost a stand, it's, well, it's not a standard BNC. It's, uh, you know, well, it, it, like its interface fit is uh, standard uh, BNC, but yeah, that's super special. I don't ask how much they cost. It's mixed signal, of course. And uh, yeah, that's a very, very serious scope. Oh man, once again, if you are surprised you can't afford it, Siglent Power Supplies. Charles, a big fan of the uh, Siglents and the uh, main ooze, uh, DC electronic load. And um, here's the new um, Siglent, the SDS uh, 2000 series. So I'm probably going to have a look at that soon. I do have an open offer to uh, have a look at that. And the uh, Grattan uh, Spectrum Analyzer, which I think we've seen on the blog somewhere before. And one of these puppies, no, no, it's not. No, it's not in there. Anyway, uh, that's really quite excited by what's in there. And of course, more uh, Agilent um, X, uh, six, X Series 6000. Woo! Jeez, how long have we been going for? Element 14, so they got all their requisite Element 14 stuff. They're probably flogging the ass out of the uh, Raspberry Pi. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's all about the Raspberry Pi. Look at that. Everyone wants Pi. And uh, mag magnetics are important, of course. You know, you want your transformers. There you go, you want a custom wound transformer, custom wound uh, common mode choke. All important stuff. And, uh, well, somebody's got to do it. It's not a glamorous industry, but, uh, yep, Marquee Magnetics. They will uh, wind you your uh, transformers and do all that fun stuff. They're a bunch of funsters, I'm sure. And uh, they just love their transformers. Whew. Worth electronic. And once again, we've got lots of chokes. Look at that. Chokes as far as the eye can see. They're good display cards. Look at that. That's a great shot. Jeez. And um, some of these uh, kits, if you can ever get like common mode uh, kits and things like that, you can ask. You can get them for free from the manufacturers if you ask very nicely. Look at that. A... Uh, a ferrite clip-on uh, kit. I've never seen one of those. That's really quite neat. And yeah, more magnetics coming out your wazoo. So there you go. There's two stands with magnetics. Oh yeah, there's the energy harvesting kit which I've got. Um, that's got the uh, giant gecko uh, in it. And yep, I've seen that. I still have to do more stuff with that. And Qualico circuits. Um, manufacture PCBs. There we go. I've got some examples down there and uh, let's have a look so, yeah, four layer micro BGA impedance control all that sort of jazz look that's a serious board I don't know who that was for but geez that's yeah that's a serious layout there folks let me tell you they are not easy as a former professional PCB designer I can attest to the work and artistry which goes into boards like that. Trust me, that's someone's work for, you know, it could be, you know, six months, uh, four months, something like that. It's, uh, you know, by the time you muck around and do all sorts of stuff and uh, get it all, uh, you know, first and second spin and all that sort of jazz. Thermo scientific, uh, looks like they're into all, ah, oh, yeah, there's a, there you go, it's a decade resistance box, uh, old school stuff and um digital bench meter look just really old school look uh, you know what you'd find at a uh, classroom you know type level for just or you know an industrial uh, process you just you don't want a multimeter you just want something with a big ass display and no fuss no mucking around the operator can't screw it up all that sort of stuff that's what you want and uh, mean well power supplies uh they were here last time they do a um this is the one I think that's uh, exactly the one for my MakerBot. There you go. So from the power supply, my MakerBot fails. I reckon I could uh, just pick one off the stand here, and uh, I think that's the absolute identical uh, supply. So, whoo! And no, we've missed a few more. Hang on, we've missed Master Cut. I know this is going forever, but uh, this is what I do. Fine mark design, yeah, RMS parts. Uh, optimum printed circuit board solution, so they are uh, on call, uh, design, manage, reduce cost, minimize. Right, so they do uh, board layouts for you. There you go. So a contractor 
lay out, you know, testimonials. Look, we did this. Fantastic. Um, that's a pretty minimal stand from Mastercut. There you go. But uh, their stuff is no less important. Minimalist, you want minimalist? Apex Tool Group, what, they've gone home? They're, they've taken their bat and ball and they've gone home. And uh, Terrapath, micro, low pressure molding, macro melt. Oh, low pressure molding machine. Look at that. I don't think they got it. Uh, yeah, they might. Yep, yep. They've got their own uh, supply in the back there. So they could probably operate that. Might come back and uh, get a good look at that. And so that could be fascinating. I don't know how they, uh, how they work exactly. But uh, VGL connectors, there you go. So all your military style, all your military connectors, there you go, military grade. Yeah, they're all the ones I'm used to. And trust me, they cost a fortune. They really do. You know, the combined uh, fiber optic one, so they'll have fiber optic in the middle there along with the pins. I'm used to that. You know, it was nothing to pay, you know, 500 bucks per connector in volume, right? In volume, in the thousands um, for those connectors. So, yep. Oh. All right, HW Technologies. Look at this. Here we go. What do we got? Big pick and place machine, and we've got like a router. So that's yeah, that so that could be a board router, and uh, this thing, an SMD tower, is uh, rather fascinating. It's my data, of course, one of the big uh, players, but uh, um, you know, it's a storage storage solution. So this is one of the storage beds out of out of this machine. So you uh, you know, you can um, it just stores all your parts in there, I think, and. Uh, probably under maybe uh, climate controlled uh, conditions, of course, um, you know, moisture and all that sort of stuff. Maybe it's, uh, maybe they do some baking as well. But uh, I talked about there before, you know, baking of parts. Um, it's important. We're back to uh, Keysight and Trio. Test and measurement. All right, PCB design services. Once again, you need your PCBs designed. There's companies who will do that here. And Entec, of course, they make uh, tons of PCBs. I've used Entech before and there's some more artistry there from some PCB designer who will no doubt go uncredited um, which is a shame because uh, a lot of uh, a lot of talent goes into uh, PCB design and they're not very well appreciated us PCB designers. Anyway um, yeah, we've got splicing and stuff like that. Very important. There you go, the gel connector. <laughs> There you go. People are probably familiar with those. They're probably, yeah, what are you talking about? I use those all the time, those splices. <clears throat> M2M connectivity. And, yeah, got lots of wireless solutions there and things like that, little modules, radio modules, GSM modules, all that sort of jazz. Tons of it. And... LX Design House, check out their stand, look at that, I love the projection screen, they've got, see the projector down the bottom, down in there, they've just got that tilted up and then a, a glass uh, panel like that, and it turns it into a huge, big projection screen, that's actually, oh, it's beating, I'm sorry, on the, uh, it's just the frame rate of the video camera, but trust me, that is a, a rock solid image on that uh, screen, I'm shooting this at uh, 250, uh, shutter speed of 1 250th, of a second with uh, 50 frames per second so obviously something's uh something's beating there hopefully the uh, you appreciate the fixed um frame uh, the fixed uh shutter speed on this there should be little blurring like if i pan like that you should get very little blurring on this camera you know if i pan really even if i pan fast like that it should you know it should be very if you pause it there you probably shouldn't be able to see any blurring but it could mean a grainy image at this uh, lower shutter speed. That's a really nice way to get a huge diameter screen in here, like just set it up on these stands. They would have bought that in, and it's, you know, obviously if you bought a, uh, bought a, you know, an actual screen that big, it would be, uh, would be absolutely massive and probably weigh a lot and uh, hard, difficult to get in and uh, set it up. Anyway, Lintec PCBs, they do really top quality, really expensive, um, custom boards made here in Australia and uh, yeah there we go we've got some RF filters happening down in there there we go and they do you know real like high-end 
uh, you know, controlled impedance, real special materials, you know, that's what they really, you know, satellite boards, all that sort of stuff, really exotic materials and RF, yeah, look at those, look at those beautiful RF, you know, like a front end mixer, you know, spectrum analyzer type um, boards and, you know, all those microwave stuff. So all those mi exotic microwave boards, they manufacture those all here. You know, they won't do like your regular, you know, two layer boards. That's not really their uh, business. So let's go back to the Roden Schwartz. This one's taken a while. How long have I been going? I forgot to reset my counter on the camera, but uh, did we get Semicron? I think we got some, no, we didn't get Semicron. They got fans and uh, there we go, Semicron, all sorts of, yep, yeah, huge. Look at those cabs. Kingdall, they're monsters and uh, looks like they do really high power, yeah, high power semiconductors, thyristors, real medium voltage thyristors, all that sort of jazz. Like we're talking serious business here. Six kilovolt stuff, you know, thousands of amps. Look at that. Wow, they uh, menu a uh, West Code. Oh, they're an Ixus company. Okay, so that's um Ixus. I've um done some of their solar cells before, I think, on the blog. But uh, yeah, so real high power, uh, more uh, industrial exotic stuff. The semi cube three phase IGBT inverter plus phase rectifier. There you go. Nice. Enter win a compact vector network analyzer. Oh, there you go. I'll have to enter. <laughs> Maybe oh, they Clark and Severn, by the way, they've been around forever. And uh, they do, you know, they're importers for cables and connectors and all that sort of jazz. So enter here to win. Yes, beautiful. Uh, Roden Schwartz, we almost missed Roden Schwartz. Uh, oh, the Surface Bound uh, Circuit Board Association, of course, uh, they, they hold a conference here, which is up upstairs, up in this venue. So uh, this is, anyway, Roden Schwartz always have this flashy sign, so they got it ready to whip out. There's their four gig, uh, 20 gig sample RTO. Whoops, there it is. And uh, they got some of their low end stuff. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's the Haymeg one. It's now got Roden Schwartz on it. Ah, uh, pain in the ass. Anyway, um, that's their spectrum analyzer and their programmable power supply, 384 water. And, one gig, uh, five gig samples per second, Roden Schwartz scope. Hello! And EMI test receiver. Yep, real specialized stuff, but if you're in that industry, of course, you uh, already know who Roden Schwartz are. And uh, there's a 20, uh, four gig, 20 gig sample per second scope and a, ve a vector signal generator. Just, oh, everyone's leaving. Food, or the beer must have run out. Uh, Roden Schwartz, um, oscilloscope. There you go, 500 meg, five gig samples per second. The RTM 2054 series. That's an interesting looking one. I'm going to have to uh, offhand. I don't know that one. Clark and Severn. Now, of course, we are in the awesome uh, Australian Technology Park, and this is where they used to manufacture all of the. There we go. There's all the. People still hanging around, there we go, getting the free food and the free booze. It's all about the booze. And uh, these, uh, they used to manufacture the um, trains in here, all the railway carriages and stuff like that and repair them and do all sorts of jazz. And they've got all the original, you know, all the original machines, but I've probably shown those last time, but all the original machines, you know, that's a journal, you know, axle and journal lathe. Look at that from 1956, I mean, you know, that's serious, serious, and that's real engineering right there. None of this electronics stuff, which we do. Glenn, uh, Wireless Solutions, your Internet of Things specialist. Oh, yes, Internet of Things. We all love the Internet of Things. And, yeah, they go, oh, Fujitsu. Yeah, he was uh, at my stand today telling me about the, uh, the Fujitsu uh, arm boards. So there you go. You might see one of those in the uh, mailbag soon. Uh, oh, Hammond, yeah, Hammond boxes. Uh, Clark and Severn, did we do Clark and Severn? Oh, yes, we did. Yes, all the Hammond boxes, of course. Done an interview with Hammond last time. Look at that money shot of all those cases. Oh, yes. And they got, yeah, free pens, free cases, things like that. Get samples. It's always good to get uh, box 
samples when you come to these shows. You can never have too many uh, boxes and stuff like that in your kit because uh, you may just decide to, there's the lone security guard, um, <laughs> you may decide to, uh, you know, use that case. It's always good to have, you know, you can really, um, uh, you know, get get a feel for projects. I don't know what's under there, but uh, Cobot Systems, they're hiding lots of super secret stuff. I don't know why they put, uh, bother to cover things up. And that uh, Super Engineering, of course, they've been around forever. And uh, looks like we have another storage solution. There we go. That's not as fancy as the other one. The other one was uh, all rotatey and I don't know, it just looked funkier. Um, new in Australasia. There you go. And they got a huge... Uh, pick and place under there. There we go, the board shoots out one end in the other and uh, visual inspection, they've got some Tagano microscopes, exactly the same as mine and uh, Hawker Richardson of course, uh, Jim Challenger, he's uh, been on the blog before and uh, they've always got lots of interesting uh, Mantis stuff of course and uh, the Mantis links, they cover those up, the optics, yep, and uh, that's the one I've got. And Whew. we're getting there, it's almost finished. Henchman products, oh there you go, they got a tougher, they're not, uh, they're not the real deal, no. And uh, lots of nice tools, lots of hand tools, they do Wii tools, so all you Wii fanboys out there get really excited. And uh, there we go, lots of solder, lots of, yeah, they've got the bars, look, look at that, the lead free. Uh, solder bars which they dip into the um, wave uh, soldering machines they got that they're a fluke reseller and uh, all that sort of jazz so tons of soldering stuff from henchman and another inspection ash uh, inspection microscope look at that that looks really quite funky so that's quite impressive I think I was contacted by uh, somebody about those so maybe um, we'll see those, and of course we've got Imona instruments there, Rigol, I won't lift you, you've already seen Rigol a million times, but they've got all the requisite Rigol stuff, that's all they're flogging here, pretty much, is Rigol, 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 and uh, John South of course from Imona, have seen him on the blog before, and Machinery Forum have some uh, nice gear under there, there we go, Hybrid Rework Station. Hey, that image isn't too noisy at, uh, oh no, it's flashing at me, 250, uh, yeah, it was flashing, it was too noisy <laughs> at uh, 200, 1 250th of a second, sorry, there, a tape, uh, um, a uh, feeder mechanism for a uh, pick and place machine. And Oztest Laboratories, uh, there are, you know, EMC testing and stuff like that, you can tell by the uh, requisite uh, EMC test antenna in there electrical safety so if you need to get your product uh, certified of course you know there's somebody here to uh, do that and uh, Conga Tech Australia almost missed them these are the last yeah they've got a nice looking girl there on the uh, showing off the product she has no clue she's just a model I'm sure but I'll I will uh, certainly uh, apologize if she is actually the designer of that board she could very well be you never know and uh, just lots of little uh, embedded processor boards. They look, uh, yeah, high-end performance. They've got a core i7, a quad core uh, i7, three display ports, um, all that sort of jazz on one neat little uh, compact board, low, low consumption, so they're targeting, you know, fast and compact, low power, comms, you know, error-protected RAM, industrial temperature, you know, if you're using it inside a real harsh environment, or if you're low power is uh, your only driving requirement. So, ah, they're pads, they're not real boards, there you go. And that is about all she wrote. There's me, right down there. Let's see if I can zoom in. There I am. Yay, look at that, hey, that's not a bad, no, that's not a bad zoom at all. Look at that, yes, I do have freebies and I am selling the t-shirts. And uh, yes, it is the amp hour as well. Ah, oh, sorry, when I'm really zoomed in, this, uh, uh, dynamic image stabilization tends to jump around. It is got face tracking. It has detected my face and it is face tracking. There you go. So, and you can see the uh, lights on my MakerBot flickering, beating against the 
frame rate of the camera. Woo! So there you go, that is, oh goodness, a thorough walk around after hours of the uh, Electronics 2014 show. My arm is very tired because I'm carrying this around on the tripod, it's rather heavy. And uh, oh, they're packing up, good one guys. <laughs> You're on. And uh, yeah, I think we got everyone. Yeah, I think we did. So there you go, hope you enjoy, oh no. No, I'm not zoomed out all the way. There we go. Ah, oh, that's better. And there's my stand, the EV Blog, the Amp Hour. So it's been fun. Been run off my feet all day. It's absolutely crazy. What is it now? It's now seven o'clock at night. I should probably head home. And uh, yeah, another <laughs> packed day tomorrow. Uh, the wife is coming over to um, man the stand. Little Sagan makes a guest appearance as well. Everyone loved him here today. They thought he was cute. And, well, no, actually, that couch is looking very inviting. Catch you next time.